Hey there, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's had them a good weekend. It's been a beautiful, hot weekend, right? We went outside last night and watched the meteor shower. Uh, it was last night and, and tonight as well. So, one night of it being out there late, you know, you got to be out there late to watch them. But it sure is pretty if you can stay up late. Me and Buzz, we come in about 1.30ish. That's about all we could do anymore. <laughs> But it sure was pretty. We got to we got to see one just spectacular one. I'm talking about a flaming fireball with a, a tail miles long behind it, you know. And then we just got to see a few nice ones. But we did get to see one pretty one. So anyway, hope everybody's had them a good weekend. Getting ready for the week, the work week coming up. But I'm fixing to start our supper tonight. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the evening. And I need to get this because this has to bake in the oven for two hours. And y'all, this is called no peak chicken. Okay? And there's a reason it's called that because you put it in the oven and you do not peak at it for two hours. But when you take it out of there two hours later, it is perfectly done. And it is a good old classic dish. And so, I just wanted to show y'all how, how I do this thing. And... We love it, and it's a great family meal. It's a great family meal. If if you working mamas have, you know, have your stuff ready or whatever with it, you know, when you, as soon as you get in from work, you can put this thing together and put it in the oven, and then you'll have supper ready by the time Papa gets home and everybody's settled in and all that good stuff. You'll have you a hot supper coming out of the oven, and, and it's good. And you can do this with pork chops, uh, you know, you can do it with uh, and whichever kind of chicken you want, okay? I normally, y'all, or through the years, I've always done this with a whole chicken that I cut up. And I'll put a whole chicken in there. And that's kind of impressive looking in there when you set that pan out and your company sees, you know, all the different chicken pieces in there or whatever and stuff, right? But in time, I've got to where I just really love, I really love the uh, using, and I've told y'all this, the chicken legs. We like using the chicken legs. There's just so much meat on them, y'all, and they're and the the price is so worthy. So I left this out just to show y'all what I'm talking about. This family, the family tray of it, and y'all, there was uh, 14 chicken legs in here, right? And it's five dollars and forty eight cents. So you can do good feeding your family on that, right? I just wanted to show you that. So what I do is I took it and cut it in half, pulled out half the chicken. So I have for me and Buzz here, which is, you know, kind of the equivalent to a small hen. I've got us, uh, I think, seven, yeah, seven chicken legs in here. Okay? Drumsticks. So that's my chicken meat. I'm going to use the chicken meat in it tonight. I do normally do the chicken, but every now and then I'll do pork chops and you do it just like I'm doing, and they are delicious in there. Spread your pork chops out in there and cook them, right? So, I'm going to show you. We're fixing to get started on that. Get you a pencil. It's worthy, okay? All right. Oh, this big old jug of oil. Okay. First thing I'm going to do. The first thing I've done is I'm getting my oven preheated to 325, okay? 325 on the oven. Now, you have to get you a pan that you can work with try to get you a skillet that you can just use the skillet because see that's what i'm going to do remember this is my one my big old stainless one i use because i can put the whole thing in the oven but otherwise you have to t uh, do this on the stovetop what i'm doing and then put it in uh, uh like a 9 by 13 pan and then cover it like with foil real tightly and stuff whatever you got to do to get it in your pan in your oven but you have to do this first and i like doing this first because all the goodies created in the bottom of the skillet from what we're fixing to do, okay? So here we go. I'm just going to take me just a, there, that much oil, a, a nice big splash of oil, okay? And I want that to get hot. So I'm going to take my chicken legs and kind of run them around in that a little bit, let that oil get on both sides of them, okay? Turn that down a little bit. I should have dried them off some. I had water on them, so it's popping. And I'll pay the price for that, right? 
Okay. Let me get this out of my way and wash my hands off. Okay. Now. That's the water popping off of it, making a mess. I should have should have daubed them dry before I put them in there, right? That'll save you all that problem if you do that. All right. Now, the next thing you're going to do, we're just going to put these in here just to kind of brown them a little bit, right? On the, We want to brown them a little on the outsides of them, on the skin and all. So what you're going to do is you get your favorite seasoning and put on there. Today, and sometimes I do different ones, but today I'm doing this this uh, New Orleans one. And it's y'all know what kind of flavor that is, that Cajun flavor stuff in there, right? So that's what I'm going to put on my legs today. But you can get any, whatever your favorite chicken seasoning is, okay? And just go along there and I'm going to put it all on them, right? Okay. Now, let me get me a couple forks here. Because I want to be able to scoot this around in here and kind of let it get the browning some on the all sides in there. And plus that seasoning's in there, okay? Because we're going to leave this oil that's in there. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. Now, while I'm doing that, y'all, I just grabbed me, I just grabbed a handful of them. Look, it's just a handful of the green onions. I got them washed and ready, okay? I'm going to take them, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to cut them up in this skillet. While my chicken's browning in there. You do it however you want. I just like to take it and hold it over the pan and do it. Save me one other dish, right? And these don't have to be cut up some kind of perfect way or something or anything because this thing's going to be cooking in there for two hours, y'all. So anything in there is going to be cooked, right? Well, there's me just a handful of green onions. You don't want them in there, don't put them in there. All right? Now, I got me two ribs of celery here. I am going to take it and kind of cut it down the middle a little bit. All right, there goes my oven. It's ready. Now, just cut them up in some little bites in there. Just like this. We're going to let these kind of brown in there a little bit while our saute somewhat while the chicken's getting a little bit of brown on the skin, okay? Now, well, if I quit slinging it all out everywhere, y'all. All right, I'm going to turn this over. And this does not have to be brown, browned or nothing. I just like to... Give it a little zap of the heat and oil and pan surface on there a little bit, okay? So what we're going to do is let that cook for a minute on the outside there. And then I'm going to get me a plate and I'm going to take these chicken legs out of here, right? The next thing we're going to do is put us some rice in this skillet. We're going to brown it in that grease, okay? And all that good drippings, it's got all that flavor in it. So let me get this chicken how I want it and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, that's all I'm doing to it. See, that's what I'm saying. You ain't, you ain't got it. I'm not talking about just brown, brown in it, but just get you a little bit of, little bit of touch of cook on that skin. The more you do it, the better it is, really. But I don't ever wait that long. It's, you don't have to, right? So there we go. We got our chicken kind of sort of done there a little bit on the skin. 
So now the next thing I want to do while this is hot, I'm going to take, I've got three quarters of a cup. Now this is raw rice, y'all, and not instant rice. Don't use instant rice in this dish. You have to have raw rice. So I have three quarters of a cup of it. I'm fixing to dump it off in this, in this uh, oil and um, spices and all, right? We're going to let it soak up all that oil and fry around in here a little bit. We want to cook that rice some, kind of brown it. You see, all, I don't know if y'all can see it, but all that goodies down in there kind of scrape on that goodie some while your rice is browning. So we're going to stir it around in here now and let this rice be browning. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this while this stuff is browning, y'all. I have my roasted red bell peppers that I have in, keep in the jar. I'm going to go ahead and put me some in there and let them kind of brown in that. You don't have to put these in there if you don't want to, okay? But I love to add them to it. But see, I'm just going to, these are the long slivers in that jar, so I have to cut them up, but that's fine. And you just get some out, however many you want, because they do add a nice, a nice flavor to it, y'all. Good enough, right there, just a few little bites of it here and there, okay? So I'm gonna let that be cooking in there with my celery and onions. Look how pretty it looks. That always gives it a good color, right? Scrape on that goodie down in there. And all that oil that's in here has all that flavoring, y'all, but you still have to be careful and not get too much oil in there. Y'all seen that I put a big splash. That's what I'm going to call it, a big splash, because you, you need a little bit more than just a splash, okay? I don't know how else to say it. But you want the bottom of your pan kind of, you want to make, you know, that the bottom of your pan is just covered in it, right? Because it's going to add... Lots and lots of good flavor to that. Okay, now my rice is just about getting brown enough. So the next thing I'm going to do, y'all, is I have a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushroom. Okay? I'm going to take them. I'm going to put them in a bowl. One mushroom, one chicken. All right? If you don't have both, you can use two of the same can if you have to. But this is the best on the flavor thing. So now what I'm going to do is get me a can and a half of water. And I'm going to add to this. Alright, can and a half of water in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I have one of these packets of the Lipton Onion Soup Mix. Y'all, the dry Lipton Onion Soup Mix. Alright, dump that in here. I see I need to stir my rice. Don't forget, don't get sidetracked doing this over here and forget about stirring your rice around a little bit. But it's browning nicely, y'all. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now I gotta get this stirred up. Get me a whisk. That'll help me get the clumps out of it easier. And so I'm, I'm just gonna take that. Oh, I wanna go ahead while I'm at it. I got some black pepper here, y'all. I'm going to put me a little bit of black pepper in here. Because, you know, this is already pretty well seasoned, right? I'm going to turn my fire down because that is good enough. And I'm going to put just a little bit of salt in here, y'all, because this is pretty salty already from the uh, Cajun seasoning that I put in there. So go easy on your salt because they can always add some on their plate if it ain't enough. But now I'm just going to take this and stir it up and get the little clumps out of it if I can keep from splattering it all over myself.
All right, there it is. See? Here we go. Over the rice. Turn the fire off. You're done with your fire on that. Now we're going to just stir this around in here and scratch the bottom of your pan. Get all that goodie off the bottom, right? We're going to get it good and mixed in here now. Everything's all seasoned and ready. Y'all know that's going to be some good stuff right there, don't you? It has got some flavor, flavor going on. And our chicken's seasoned up and flavored, and we got a little hint of cooked on the skin there before we drop it in here. All right, I've got it all mixed up now. Last thing we're going to do here is take our chicken legs and just put them down in it, okay? There we go. Put all that in there. And I think that was a little thick looking to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put me another half a can of water in here, y'all. So, you know, that's up to you on that if you wanna do that or not, but you could just say two cans of water and you'd be uh, happy with it properly, right? If you get too much in there, though, it just cooks your, you know, it's too much water for your rice. Huh. Get it stirred up in here good. Make sure your chicken's pushed all down in there. That's why I'm kind of going like this, because there were some big old chicken legs. They're poking up out of the top of it. Now the next thing you do, if you don't have a big old lid to go on it or whatever that's really good and tight get you some foil and put on it and you know seal it off good with the foil so I'm just going to take that put my lid on it and I'm fixing to put it in the oven on 325 set your timer for two hours and do not peek no peeking it's no peak chicken y'all I'll see y'all in two hours and show you how good this is. Alrighty, y'all. It's been two hours and I hadn't peeked. No peeking, right? So we're fixing to take this out of the oven and see what we got. Let me get it down here. I think I'll, well, I'll leave that right there for a moment. Let me see. This pan is big and heavy. I gotta be careful. Woo, it smells good already. Oh, there we are, y'all. All right. And y'all be careful taking that foil off and stuff. Remember about the steam and all. Look at this. Let me show it to you up close there. What do y'all think about that? Does that not look delicious? I am. I tell you what, it's smelling so good. I am hungry. I am ready to get into this supper, y'all. I am. All right. Let's dish some of this up out of here. And that chicken's just falling apart, see? Just get you a couple things of your meat. Look at that, y'all, how good looking that rice and gravy is all off in there. Do it about like that. There's your chicken and all your rice and the goodies in it. I tell you what, I know this fixing to be ate up, y'all. This is so good, y'all, and it's really easy. You get your, get your stuff all put together and get it in the oven, and then you can go do stuff, you know. But you'll have a good supper to feed your family, company, whoever. This is worthy. 
it's a great dish to even take as a cover dish if you bake it in one of those uh, glass 9 by 13s that you can put the lid on, you know, the cover on it. It's a good dish for that. And it cost, what, what, what was that, $5 and something for that while ago? So, I mean, you know, half of that for this meat. I mean, you can feed a lot of people on this dish for little to nothing and almost effortless. Listen, thank y'all for everything. I've enjoyed doing this video with you, and uh, I want y'all to try it. And this is old-time classic home country cooking right here, y'all, and it's good stuff. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.